welcome to another process video. I did the flip through of my little let's have a cup of tea journal, little junk journal, and I had a few people say, how do you make that? So all I do is I take three used junk journal envelopes and I've got some napkins and papers here and I made it into a, it's like a one signature little small journal so you don't have to fill it as full as this. <laughs> Let me take you down closer and show you how I do it. I'm sure lots of you have other ideas of how you make your little journals. <laughs> what we need to do first is, oh, have a sip of tea. That's what we need to do first. Mm. Mm. And get ourselves all oh, relaxed and comfy. <laughs> Let's take all the tags out of this. You can see a flip through of this journal that I, I did that on Friday. Oh, that's the bone folder. That's handy. Let's take everything out so we can just get to the bare bones of this journal and see how it's constructed, shall we? You don't have to add as much as I do. And you can put two signatures in and I'm just on keeping it very simple stage at the moment. <laughs> oh, we go through stages in our lives, don't we? Right, so that's it in a in a more flat stage. <laughs> right, so what have we got? We've got here for the back cover. We have an envelope that was sent to me. I put a napkin on the back of there. Oh, it was sent to me with a napkin. Yes. But then I have a brown envelope, a birthday card envelope. So we've got one envelope for the front cover, a brown envelope. And then simply inside, there's this wonderful envelope made of a calendar page, from a calendar page. So, and that was sent to me too. And inside, it's done up with the pamphlet stitch. That's it. Mm. So, three envelopes. How amazing. First of all, Let's get this envelope and pop a napkin on it. So it's used. You don't have to pop a napkin on yours. Let's get some. This is just my process. So when you have a napkin, just to go over it again, you have a backing on it. So we don't want that on. So let's take that off. And I use that to make tissue paper stamp on it. Is there another layer? There is. Wonderful. Let's. Sometimes you get three ply. If you don't take the layers off, it just doesn't stick properly. Can you see I'm wetting my thumb just to get that off? <laughs> and then take that layer off. Now, on this layer, can you see that there's a ghost layer? And that's very nice as a background in collage. So I keep that. So I'm just going to put some glue. Use the glue of your choice. I'm using this dry glue stick today because, because I love them, but it dries quite quickly, so it's not going to be in a mess. And I can demonstrate. Pop 
my napkin like that. There we are. There. And you can save other bits of this napkin because you could make tags as well to pull the design through. any you can use any size of envelopes use what you have if you haven't got any used ones you could use new ones or make your own watch this space because we're going to do that in a minute <laughs> let's fold it over like that Later on, this would be good to put some Mod Podge or PVA over this. It'll keep it nice and strong. And I've got that. So, what I need to do is cut down this side. And you will have lots of ways that you do this. And do share those with us. We'd love to know your ideas and how you do it. You may have made videos as well, let me know. There we are. So that's the back cover. This is ready for people to decorate however they want to. Can you see here I put tea paper and magazine paper, tea stain paper. So the next envelope to come is the little brown envelope. Get a used envelope. And this one's a bit, I don't mind things being lots of different levels. Oh yeah, this one is a little bit bigger. Hmm. And what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to fold it in half. Oh, I opened it upside down. What am I like? I'm going to fold it here like this. And I do it like that because that makes a nice tall mini pocket. Come down here like this. Fold this over. Let's just we'll take that bit off. It's a bit bulky. There we are. There's a mini pocket there. envelope my tri-fold vintage letter so I haven't got any of the tri-fold letters so I'm going to make mine I wonder how big that tri-fold letter is let's have a measure shall we it is nine by nine by six so let's cut this is this is actually scrapbook paper the very last pieces of scrapbook paper from when i used to make scrapbooks each of the boys i've made a scrapbook i made one for my nephew matthew like a traditional scrapbook with the scrapbooking paper because my friend was stamping up demonstrator. So where did I make that mark? You know when you make a mark on paper and you can't see it? Does that happen to you? <laughs> oh. And then 
these bits of offcuts. This is a 12 by 12. You, these these offcuts will make lovely tags for the journals or any other journal that you're making. I have a few... The family bought me a scrapbooking pad and I have a few pages in that left. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, that's a lovely leftover. And nine by six. That's this. You, if you've got a paper cutter, oh, because it's a 12 by 12, just in half that way. <laughs> Gosh, even I can do that maths. <laughs> So I've got another trifold letter here. I might try sending this one through the post. I have experimented and homemade trifold letters still get through the post. Nice and flat. They've gone abroad as well. Right, let's let's see where the middle is. Just there, and I'm going to fold these. Into the middle. Like that. If it was a trifold letter, I'd pull it over a little bit so I could put one of those stickers in. But let's see if that fits on our envelope. So we've got the napkin page. We've got that. Oh, do you know that fits on nicely? There's a little bit of a little bit left over here. We might cut that. Let's see, let's let's just put it on and then see. Because every, every envelope is going to be a different size. So just see how you see how you go. Oh, lovely. Oh, there. Wonderful. Mm. There. That opens up. So, we have a pocket here. I think I will trim down this bit. Here. So yes, you have you have a pocket here. Oh, isn't that lovely? Wow. Ah oh, yes. So on this little bit of the trifold letter, I've made a little mini collage and then I come in with a fabric pocket. And you can still see the brown envelope. Ah oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So let's cut this down here. Fold this. Yeah, let's fold this like here. There we are. That's it. So this bit will get glued, I think. Yes. I'm thinking as I go along here. Because you can adjust this. Depends how you feel and what your envelopes are like. Oh, that's it. We are, we're cooking on gas. There we are, trifold letter. Pocket, collage. Lovely. Trim that a bit more later. Then you've got a pocket here. Oh, I'm loving this. And then the last signature is this beautiful envelope made from a calendar. That was sent to me. Oh, if you remember sending me this. It's got an Orlando postmark. 
do let me know and the napkin one as well because I absolutely love them absolutely love them now I haven't got a calendar page but I have some old atlas pages so I've made up here a little faux envelope would you like me to do that with you hold on a minute let's let we can do that together we're going to fold it like that so it doesn't appear upside down let's measure this envelope not that it has to be the same size there we are like that and ah uh, again it's just that little bit shorter there these would be lovely for collage and to put throughout the book maybe to cut this a little bit further down here so I could fold this up because remember I, I'm making an envelope there we are like that there we are <laughs> And you've received this through the post. I love doing it this way so everything's the right way up. Oh, it's the right way up this side and then this side. This side you can cover, that's fine. So let's open up our envelope. <laughs> I was just trying to get one side the right way up, baby. Ah, oh, lovely. And we will pop that in the middle. I love the way you cross your legs, Freddie. <laughs> you look very cosy. Make a little back pocket. There's plenty of room for all our ephemera and tags then. So there we are. Literally, that is how I did it. The other wonderful thing I did on this, which I loved, is put a pocket on the magazine paper, put a pocket on there. So we could use some of this paper and make a little pocket. Oh, that would be nice. Now I sew my own sewing machine in the pocket for extra strength. You do that if you would like to. And yes, or glue it. It's your choice. Do you know what else I've done? I've rounded the corners. Let's just round them with our scissors, shall we? Fold it over so we get a little bit easy. Oh, yeah, I think that makes a nice difference. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I haven't rounded the corners at the top, but I've rounded them at the bottom on the cover. So let's do that. And that is our journal. 
in a nutshell, ready to embellish. There we are. So I'm finishing this journal with you. Shall I do the pamphlet stitch? Hmm. Let me show you how I stitched this together. Do they say you have to get three or four times the length? I just cut quite a big bit because it doesn't go to waste because I'm I make mini journals as well so it doesn't go to waste. I'm using wax thread and as you can see I bought this one and I think it's like a lifetime investment <laughs> and I keep my little wooden awl in there so maybe that lovely little piece of vintage ephemera uh, vintage this vintage tool from Papa doesn't get lost. Fetch a book just in the just in the spine there, and this is a book I'm using for ephemera. It's not my reading book, so don't worry. It make some holes in the metal. It's a rather lucky book, isn't it? And go through the middle one. And find that little hole again. You can. I've bulldog clipped it together. But there's not many pages. I haven't got much movement here. This is... I'm keeping life really simple at the moment. I'm not doing books with lots of signatures and that's just the phase I'm in at the moment and I'm I'm going with I'm going with the 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 phase of my life and I'm working with it. <laughs> Trusting the timing of my life. I'm going through that patch where um, I do. I didn't. I need things to be simple and not too complicated. <laughs> you might lo love be in the phase where you're doing lots of signatures, and I love that. Maybe you. I love the way that we're all so different. Then I put that back in there like that, and the all. And then hopefully, touch wood. Where's wood? There. I don't tend to lose it. So, basically, that is how I made my tea journal. And then I just added from there. <laughs> I do hope that's helpful. Ask any questions in the comments down below, do. Shall we have a little bit of time face to face? That would be lovely. Oh, it'd be nice to just spend this little bit of time together, have a cup of tea and a, and a little catch up. <laughs> oh, little Freddy. <laughs> hmm. Let me show you this piece of art from Alicia. I was in the cupboard because uh, there's a filing cabinet and I was looking for envelopes and there's a little section of Alicia art because I've got some around but I've got some filed so I swap things around occasionally. While we're over at the filing cabinet. Ah oh, yes, here's our lovely Mo, still guarding all the happy mail. <laughs> Thanks Mo. Leave a heart print wherever you go. A little piece of Alicia art. Vibrant and dancey. Isn't it lovely? A little letter on the back. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. 
Felicia says in the note, hearts are your jam. <laughs> oh, I love that. Let's pop that up. Pop that up at the back there. It's nice to have these inspiration all around us, isn't it? Mm, let's pull an ATC. Have you been looking after them for me, Primrose Hibiscus? The last page in your little journal. We'll have to make you another one, won't we? Let's. Here we are. Oh, love this. How amazing. Oh, and this is a, this is a Meljoy one. It's called Eco Warrior. Melanie loves making ATCs. <laughs> they, they're handy little small pieces of artwork, aren't they, to create. I love them. Eco Warrior, one of one. Oh, wonderful. I'll pop that there to give me inspiration throughout the week. Oh, lovely. Oh, and here's, here's Melanie's. Eco Warrior. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> There's my mug of the day. I've gone botanical today. <laughs> uh, oh, Flo, uh, have you got a page to show us? I love your orchid. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I can see you've been busy, Flo. Let's have a look. Oh, you've made a tag. Oh, how lovely. Oh, cake on it. Oh, lovely. Anything on the back? Oh, what does it say? I do share, but not cake. Oh, oh, Flo. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> oh, is it time to light a candle? It probably is. Mm. little journal. This can fly off around the world. It's by plain, just all ready. It's all ready to be, have somebody's special touch put on it. it it's a blank canvas, really. All the papers can be covered. Where's the can? S alas, still no matches. I must remember when I go to the supermarket, I picked up milk and cream. Oh yes, cream to go in the cake, but I forgot the matches. This one works just the same though. day is a fresh start. I really am enjoying this smile journal that I put together the other day using Miriam's portfolio. Just when I come across smiles, I... tear them out. I found myself coming in here. When was it? I don't know. Friday evening? just adding a couple it's the tea stain paper is oh can I reach the yes <laughs> is I'm not doing great backgrounds I think the tea stain paper's enough it's just a case of 
flicking through all this positivity here and then just finding a page and gluing it, gluing it in. I think I'm finding it very therapeutic. There we are. Just one of those little journals to have at the side here, because you just never know which one you'll feel like working in. Working, playing. <laughs> oh. Have a good week, everybody. And thank you so much for joining Freddie knows his name, obviously. <laughs> Bye everyone, take care. with her knitting. It is. Oh. <laughs> got a knitting needle, I know. Oh. oh no, he's got a little paws around him. Look. <laughs> I know. Oh, sweet pie. You're more than kind. Spoon of the day. <laughs> oh, look at that. Someone's put Easter eggs in. Oh, and a beautiful heart with a fox on. Oh, oh, oh well, that's really nice. Like pig flippants. I know. Isn't it wonderful to come and discover things? Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Leslie, that is, it is yeah, it's really lovely. I love it. So fantastic. <laughs> 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 Turning oh, an Easter egg into a hot air balloon. Yes. I love it. <laughs> is that Freddie going for a? Yeah. I'm going for a flying. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, thank you, Giving Tree. Well, coming back. Look, look, Freddie, he's sort of the news. Really? <laughs> I'll just wait patiently. Plenty rain. <laughs> Plenty of puddles for Freddie. <laughs>